Hi right guys, Nicky AK 4 k and in today's video I have a couple of solutions that may help you with this error that comes up when you're trying to install iTunes onto your PC. Now I'm going to show you two possibilities that may help you, that may not. Okay, so let me go with that quickly. Go into whatever folder you installed your iTunes to, standard download for me. That's the first step. You right click on your iTunes setup file, then run as admin. Okay, click yes, and you go through the motions, and hopefully this helps you. But for me, it doesn't, as you can see. So the only thing that worked for me was the following. Okay, so we'll close that again. I'll go through the motions again just to make it easier. So we'll do that. Right click as administrator. Click yes. I'll go through this. Yes, thank you very much. Okay. Okay, now when it comes up with this, leave it. Do not click finish and do not click X if it's available to you. Okay. Just leave it hovering around there. Now you need to go into your file system. You either go to start and click on my computer if you're Windows 7 or below if you're Windows 10 you just go to this PC and then click on your C drive alright now what you want to do is you need to go into your user folder which is this one and then go to your username whichever it is mine's Nick obviously so double click on that now once you're in here what you need to do is you need to unhide this folder which is called app data so if you're Windows 10 you go to view click on that and then just click on hidden items and that will show you any hidden files if you're Windows 7 then it's just a case of go go into your libraries and then there should be like a name here called organized files or something and then you go down to click on the view tab and then go down and search for show hidden files if you're stuck with that, and if you're Windows 7, and if you're stuck with that, let me know and I'll try my best to help you with that. But once you've got this file unhidden, double click on it, and you want to go into your local, then go down and find temp. Okay, there, double click on that, and in here you should see loads of temp folders such as like iTunes 64 setup. So make sure those are in there then you'll know it's definitely in motion of trying to install now you want to go up to your there should be a file in there called ixp102.tmp that may change depending on versions whatever but it should stay so just double click on that and in here is all your installation files all right now you just start off you need to install these all manually now Okay, but first you need to highlight them, click on copy, and then you can either put my desktop or wherever. I think I put mine, yeah, I put mine here just so it's easy to see. Okay, once you copied it and pasted it onto your local drive, you go in there and you click on iTunes 64 or iTunes 32 depending on what sort of version you've installed it's mine 64-bit version system I've got iTunes 64 and then you'll just go through the steps install obviously because we didn't need to run it in admin it'll come up with that and there we go it's starting to install now and you literally all you do is just go through the motions and install one by one just go up the list There we go. We'll click off that to install the others, otherwise it will get a bit buggy. Then you want to install Bonjour 64. Just go through the motions again. Just let them install into their various locations. Install. Yep. Yeah. Finish. Then your Apple software update. 
next. I accept. Install. And then for me, it will be this one. If you're 32, it should be that one. Because I'm doing 64. Okay, obviously I haven't uninstalled it from when I installed it and I fixed it previously. All we have to do is go through the motions exactly what you did last time. Okay. And that's it. You should be all set and ready to go now. You can click off that. Go into your iTunes and it should be all fully available. And there you go. If that doesn't work, then I'm sorry, but if it did... Give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you next time.